Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at some Bakugan Armoured Alliance figures. This is the, well, one of the starter packs that's available and it comes with three uh, different Bakugan and some of those little activator chips and as you can see at the bottom looks like it comes with some cards as well. Yeah, Bakugan Ultra, two Bakugan, six Baku cars and one Bakugan rule sheet. And three ability cards, three collector's cards. Uh, one trading card. A training card and an instruction sheet. Right. So it comes with a bunch of cards as well as three Bakugan. Yeah, so the Baku cars are these ones. Uh, I have actually watched at least season one of the new um, season of it and I didn't realize I would need loads of scissors to open it so I shall be right back all right I'm back I have scissors so let's open it but yeah as I was saying I have watched um, a bit of the new show like the the reboot of it and I found it quite enjoyable it was fun I never really watched the original series, like back again back in the day, because it didn't really seem like my sort of thing to me back in the day. But I did collect some of the back again figures back in the day. And ages ago, from me collecting them, it all started when I found one on the floor. That a kid had dropped. How do you freaking open this? But yeah, I found a Bakugan on the floor. So that sort of helped me get into Bakugan. Right, so. I'm just going to take the card off. Oh, there's all the cards. And instruction stuff. There we go. Oh, it's already popped open because the table's magnetic. <laughs> oh, scissors again. And scissors, cut it. They really like the rubbish on these. Right, so get that bit of plastic out. Here's all the the back of cars. Right, so let's get this one out. So yeah, even in the past, when it comes to Bakugan, you always get one that's already popped open and two that aren't. Unfortunately, this one has already popped open in the, uh, because the table I'm on has, mag has metal legs. So, yeah. Right, so I need to point the camera down a little bit now because it's going to the table stuff. Right, so the Bakugan you get in this starter pack... For the Ultra one, you get, um, Nil is it Nilios? Nilio? Oh, Nilio Ultra, which is the this two-headed dragon. You get Pegatrix, which is this one. The, uh, the Unicorn Pegasus. And you get Trox, which is this one that hasn't popped open yet, but he is a T-Rex. I shall get him popped open in a bit. So we'll have a look at these first so we have some nice some of these ones what's this i've got on the back of it all right yeah so these are the uh the back of course so these are the magnetic the little magnetic cards that um help your back again pop open so we have those and in here we have the other cards So these are the other cards and stuff. And the instructions. Where was this one? Well, that's the battle instructions. I don't really need that because I'm not going to bother with it. These, I believe, are the transforming instructions. Well, it's for the dragon anyway. Oh, there's some more you can get on the back. 
So, yeah. Some of these we saw in the series, some of them we didn't. So these, those are the different Bakugan Ultras you can get. So you get one per um, starter pack. And then those are the regular Bakugan that you can get. So yeah, that is pretty neat. But yeah, that's the uh, the transformation instructions for the Nilio Ultra. Because I'm guessing he's a bit of a harder one. And here we have some of the cards. So we have this thicker card which has him on it I can't remember his name which actually I know I think this is like series two of the show so I won't have seen these guys anyway so we got that guy that also feels like a that is also a magnetic card so that's going like back into the old days and we have all of these cards so we have bolt blow which is the move card <laughs> move card this is like dinosaur king uh, Baku Thrusters silent and Silent Spears for like move cards. Then we have the character cards. So we have the Pegatrix, like I said, who is the like the unicorn Pegasus. And we have Trox, the T-Rex, and Nilios Ultra, the two-headed dragon. So I shall get the those out of the way. Actually no. I'll just keep this card out because that's going to help us pop out some of these. So we'll start with this guy. This is the the Nilios, no Nilio, whatever Ultra. So he's the two-headed dragon, two heads, one tail. This one just sort of with the colours sort of reminded me of King Ghidorah as well. So that's why I kind of wanted to get this set and not any of the others. Because just because this guy reminded me of King Ghidorah from the Godzilla stuff. Except he's got little tiny arms. That's cute. So he's pretty cool. There's actually some really nice detailing on the dragon heads. And the little arms and legs. They're all one piece. Right, so let's try and get him back. So the legs go that way. The heads fold in. The wings fold in like that. Heads all fold in like so. And then that folds in like that. And then the tail just sort of goes around like that. Alright, so he's not actually that hard, but that's what he looks like as a ball. With some nice gold accents on the uh, the brown. Brownie orange. Where's the magnet? The magnet is there. So let's pop him open again. Let's pop these guys out of the way. Neat. He flips <laughs> because the uh, the magnet ends up being on the tip of his tail, so he flips. But yeah. And then once he opens, you just need to pop the heads back. So yeah. So that is the the Nilios Ultra. Now we we'll might as well go to Pegatrix since you know she popped open. Open. No, since she already she's already popped open. Uh, not a right lot going with this one. You know, it's not as exciting as that one over there. But yeah, it's a it's a horse. That's about it. It's really nice. Let's fold her back up, shall we? Oh, she's quite easy. Oh no, wait! I've done it wrong. You need to put the, the wings in first and then fold that up. And then you can. No, nope, done it wrong again. So you need to fold that up, but at the same time, fold the front legs up so that all locks into place like that. And then. Oh! God. oh. Even just little bits of pressure can flip them open. So there we go. She literally just all folds in. And let's pop her open again. There we go. I'm saying her because I'm pretty sure Pegatrix was a female in the program. Right then, time for trucks. I haven't seen this one popped open yet, so let's have a look. Oh, is that it? 
Is that it? Does the rest of it need folding out? Oh, he's kind of disappointing. There he is. Uh, it does kind of look like there's some more of them that would pop. There's his little T-Rex arms, anyway. Seems like his, uh... Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's Trox the T-Rex. That one is actually really disappointing. Th very disappointing. Let's fold him back up. How do you... Oh, there we go. So yeah. He's actually really disappointing. <laughs> oh my god. I was expecting a T-Rex to have a more exciting looking transformation thing. Even the unicorn is more exciting. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, the ultra figures are definitely a lot better than the basic ones. Because this guy is very disappointing. I think the next one I'll get, I might get the, the one that has the Trox ultimate on it. Where's Trox Ultimate? Because the Trox Ultimate figure looks a lot better. So yeah. I kind of want to get all of these Ultimate figures eventually. Because the Pegatrix one looks really cool. I've got, obviously got the Dragonoid. You kind of need the Dragonoid one. And you've got Halcor, which I want to get because he's basically the Cerberus. So yeah, all of the... Uh, the ultra figures def are definitely better than the the basic ones. But yeah, even on the picture, it looks Trox was being very very boring. <laughs> Dragonoid looks okay. Where's Nilia? Nilia's normal one looks all right. And Pegatrix's normal one's pretty cool as well. Hydrus looks a bit. Ugh. So yeah, there's Hydrus. He's like the lion. And then Hydrus's Ultra one is really cool. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, th that's that then. Let's just get rid of that. So here we are with the three back again. Disappointing Trox. His mouth doesn't even open. But yeah, very disappointing Trox. Average Pegatrix. And then awesome Nelios Ultra. He can even flap his wings. But yeah, um, £20 for a starter pack? I would say it's worth it. Because you get, you know, you're getting three back again. One of them you can see in the creature mode. The other ones, you, the other two, you are sort of mysteries until you pop them on the cards yourself. So yeah, you get, you're getting three back again, a bunch of cards, a bunch of, bunch of uh, back of cards. Yeah, I would I would say twenty pounds all right for this, if you play the game. If, however, you're like me and you don't actually play with them, you just sort of collect them, because they look cool. I would not say they're worth twenty pound. I would say wait for these to go on offer. I mean, I got these at B and M, for the the twenty pound, and B and M is usually cheaper. So, but I have a feeling twenty pound is actually their retail price. But yeah, if you're playing the game, if you've got the game, 